that's pretty much a straight up accusation. You plotted to kill my father, your husband. <laughs> In Act 1, Scene 5, he says, O heart, lose not thy nature. Let not ever thy soul, the soul of Nero enter this firm bosom. So here's in one of his soliloquies where he's getting ready to, to go in and berate, uh, to confront his mother. And he says, oh, I don't want to be like Nero who murdered his mother. He's trying to pull himself back and say, I don't want to be like the emperor Nero. In, in a great work of art, these allusions are not accidental. They bring with them the baggage from the story that's being alluded to, do you see? And so what happened with the Nero situation is Agrippina, Nero's mother, was niece and wife of the Roman Emperor Claudius. She was, she was accused of poisoning her husband and living with her brother, and Nero murdered her. So, is Gertrude Agrippina, did she collude with Claudius to murder King Hamlet? That, that's a clue. It really, really is a clue, do you see? Or is she the perfect mother, uh, Niobe? Or is she the perfect wife, Hecuba? Or is she the absolute worst wife, Agrippina? Do you see what Shakespeare's done there? He's used these allusions to force the audience to ask questions about who she is. That's one clue, that Hamlet suspects that she was involved in the plot to kill um, uh, to kill her husband, do you see? Gertrude says, what a rash and bloody deed is this? So this is where Hamlet killed Polonius through the curtain. And Hamlet says, a bloody deed? Almost as bad, good mother, as kill a king and marry with his brother. That's, that's pretty much a straight-up accusation. You plotted to kill my father, your husband. This is where she's saying, as kill a king, suggesting that she she didn't that she shocked at the at the implication at the accusation do you see interestingly after this that's it that's all we hear about it we don't hear any more about this accusation suggesting that hamlet really doesn't want to go that far but in the heat of the moment he, he revealed something that was in him so there it is very very interesting a dynamic here did she really betray king hamlet certainly i would agree in some way with the hasty marriage just wait a year is what i would would have argued and then i wouldn't have suspected her of, of that straight up betrayal do you see it's very very complex Uh, even more complex, perhaps, is my argument that Gertrude actually betrays Hamlet in a weird, weird, edible kind of way.